The Obama administration is facing criticism for failing to live up to its promises of transparency. Fox News correspondent Wendell Gohler has the story. A day after his first inauguration, President Obama gave his staffers a directive. Transparency and the rule of law will be the touchstones of this presidency. But the normally friendly New York Times editorial board concluded this week that on transparency, Mr. Obama, quote, has failed to live up to that promise. The FBI triggered the Times' frustration with a fight to collect Americans' phone and financial records without a subpoena. But there are other questions about the administration's commitment to transparency. After a shooting rampage in September which claimed 12 lives, the Navy mistakenly sent a reporter an internal email about dodging his Freedom of Information Act request. Sunlight Foundation's Ginger McCall says Mr. Obama sets the tone. He appoints the head of heads of these other agencies, and those people need to be in line with the presumption of disclosure under the FOIA. They need to be in line with the idea that the public has the right to know, and instead, what we see is that they're in line with the idea of secrecy. At the White House, a photographer's push for access led to a glimpse of a lunch between the president and vice president, but just for cameras, not for reporters, whose complaints led to a defense of Mr. Obama's press availability. Word for word, minute for minute, question for question, this president has answered more questions from the free and independent press, or at least as many as his immediate predecessors. The Columbia Journalism Review says the Obama administration has also prosecuted more potential whistleblowers under the 1917 Espionage Act than all former presidents combined, which may be why NSA leaker Edward Snowden is clinging to his temporary amnesty in Russia. Mr. Obama is considering changes to some of the NSA's operations Snowden brought to light, but Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul is not optimistic. I'll only be satisfied if this is uh, debated, discussed, and decided by the Supreme Court. You have constitutional questions being decided in secret by the FISA court. I think that goes against uh, what America stands for. The president has suggested the FISA court might be made more responsible by placing a civil liberties advocate on it, but his critics aren't likely to feel that solves the problem if the advocate is regularly outvoted and the court's rulings remain secret. At the White House, Wendell Gohler, Fox News.